how to create sticky header on wordpress easy tutorial hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a sticky header on your wordpress website so it's going to be easy and it's going to be very beginner friendly and i'll just make it really quick so without any delay let's get to the video so uh, first of all you need to know what is a sticky header a sticky header is basically a header type that sticks to through your website whenever you scroll down like this one right here uh, when i scroll this down everything other you know goes up but this header stays in its place like i can still navigate my website i can still navigate all the things that are available on this uh, header like header usually carries all the menu and stuff so when you scroll down the header stays there and you can access it from anywhere you are on your website so this is what a sticky header is how to add this kind of header to your wordpress website the benefits of this are basically it gives a more user interactive kind of uh, place to your customers and they can just access it even when they are somewhere you know in like they are shopping and they have scrolled down to somewhere you know below and below and now they want to change the category of shopping so they don't they don't have to do the hassle of going all the way up and just go on to the header and everything and change their categories but they can just do it from right below like they can just still access all of these categories and everything from the above so this is what a sticky header does it is you know it gives a really good user interface to the users so how you can add your a sticky header onto your wordpress it is very easy what you need to do is you need to add a plugin uh first of all go into find the plugins and click on this and then you will find this add new option and just click on this option and then what you need to do is i'm going to search for here sticky header okay guys so as you can see i have searched sticky header here and i have got a lot of options this one is the one which you can use with elementor if you use customization uh tool as an elementor so you can just click on this and you can go with this and it has 200,000 plus active installations which is really good to go and this will surely help you with that but i'm going to show you a general one which doesn't involve elementor so that anyone with who doesn't use elementor can also use that so as you can see here i have an option here with this one sticky menu and sticky header and it is also by web factory ltd and it has 100,000 plus active installation so if i scroll down a little bit here is the one that i need you to find this is floating notification bar for black friday sticky menu on scroll announcement banner and sticky header for any theme my sticky menu by premium also has 100,000 plus active installations i'm just going to click on this install now option and i'm going to install it after it is done installation i'm just going to click on this activate option and i'm going to activate my sticky header plugin and then i'll be able to make some changes to it so that uh it is aligned with everything that i want okay so the next thing is basically uh they have given me an option to uh, be first and to sign up and everything so i'm just going to you know do it later and i'm going to show you a basic dashboard of my sticky header okay so as you can see this is a basic dashboard of my sticky header this is the welcome bar settings but you need to create a sticky menu setting so i'm just going to click on the sticky menu from here so that uh you don't have to go through any kind of hassle and we land onto something that we just want okay so with my sticky menu you can make your website's menu sticky you can also use it to create a welcome notification bar and go to my sticky menu okay so how to make a sticky header okay so anything that you can add a sticky menu header to any theme simply change sticky class to html element class desire to be sticky and you'll be good to go okay so uh, what you need to do is other class sticky select sticker menu sticky menu or primary primary menu of canvas and everything so i'm just going to make my sticky menu and now i will go down and make all the changes so as you can see here in the setting option you have your sticky z index you can change it or you can uh, you know everything is ready for you to uh, basically choose and uh, go with but i'm going to go through them one by one to show you guys what are these then you have a disable at small screen sizes less than chosen screen width as set zero to disable so you need to um, set a choose a screen width on which the menu will disappear so you can you can add it zero and at zero it will disappear make visible on scroll at home page if set to zero it will use initial make visible on scroll values so just let it be it will be good then you have a sticky transition time it is 0.3 seconds then you have sticky opacity if you want your men sticky menu um you know to be a little tr translucent when someone scrolls down you can just make the sticky opacity to you can just reduce its opacity or you can just make it a hundred percent opaque it's totally up to you i'm just going to leave it at 90 as it was wait a second guys 
to somewhere at 90 okay so the next thing is here are some options as well if you want to fade or slide or your effect then you can just click on each uh, any one of these if you wanted to slide if you wanted to fade then you have a make visible on scroll if set to zero auto calculate will be used okay just let it be um like do not touch these kind of settings that you don't know anything about so i'm just going to let it be because uh, the calculation must be authentic and everything then you have your sticky background color so you can choose any background color for your sticky background but you must choose something that is compatible with your website just don't go ahead and choose anything that is not compatible because that will make uh make it look patchy and everything and your sticky text color is also be something that will be aligned with your website because otherwise it will look patchy it won't look very good so you need to just do that i'm just going to make both orange because the last thing that i remember my website was kind of orangey and everything okay so then you have hide on scroll down disable sticky menu at scroll down uh you don't want to do that because you don't want your sticky menu to hide when you scroll down so just leave this option open because this is not what we want then you have page targeting if you want to add any kind of rule you can do that and if you want to add your css style add edit css style leave it blank for default style so i'm just going to leave it for default style and, and we're good to go and now disable that on which pages of your website you don't want your sticky menu to be sticky so uh, your front page your blog page post pages archives tag search categories and 404 so these are all the pages options that your website has so you can just click on any one of these and you'll be good to go and then you need to click on this save save and turn on sticky menu and uh, this is good okay so this is going to turn on my sticky menu okay so my sticky menu is turned on and the settings are saved now what i want you to do is i'm going to go on my themes wait a second i'm going to my regular appearance and in here i'm just going to click on this themes from the themes i'm going to click on the one that i'm using right now which is this astra active astra is active right now so i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to customize it and then i'm going to add a sticky header for myself i'm going to show you guys where it will show up in your settings okay so guys so among your headers you'll find your sticky header design if you if you cannot find your sticky header on this site right here then you can just go on and add your css manually into your theme and you'll be good to go and you'll find your sticky header right here so this is how you can add your sticky header on to your wordpress website this is very good it is also very easy anyone can do that and it is it doesn't involve anything technical or something if you want to add here is the option to add additional css just click on that add your css and you'll be good to go you'll have your sticky header right here so i hope this was easy for you if you have any queries just comment it down into the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys and uh please give this video a big thumbs up because your appreciation really motivates me to make new topics to make new videos for you guys so that you have everything all the platforms that are digital that are in use these days covered and in your knowledge and also please subscribe to our channel and uh, click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications so that every time i upload a video about anything you can get notified about it please take good care of yourself i will surely see you in the next video with a new topic until then take care bye bye